Apple is one of the world's most valuable companies with a history full of fascinating facts, some of which are little known. Did you know Apple has more cash than the US government or that a MacBook Pro can actually stop a bullet? Here are some interesting facts about Apple that may surprise you. The company, initially established in 1978 by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne. Wayne sold his stake in the company for a mere $800 as he thought the company had no future. I told you there ain't no future in being a company, man. Had he retained those shares until the present day, they could potentially be valued at over $50 billion. <laughs> Apple's brand name and its origins have generated various theories, but the truth is that Steve Jobs chose the name Apple simply because he had an affinity for the fruit. Jobs, who adhered to a fruitarian diet, proposed the name after visiting an apple orchard. In 1984, Apple revolutionized personal computing with the introduction of the Macintosh, which was lauded for its utilization of a graphical user interface, GUI. In 2001, Steve Jobs introduced the iPod, a product that achieved tremendous popularity due to its sleek design and effective marketing. Two years later, in 2003, Apple launched the iTunes Music Store. In 2010, Apple unveiled the iPad, an event that not only boosted Mac sales but also propelled Apple's stock market value past that of Microsoft. In 2018, Apple achieved a historic milestone by becoming the first publicly traded company to attain a market capitalization of $1 trillion. Then, in 2020, Apple introduced the M1 Apple Silicon chip, marking a new era of enhanced power and efficiency for Mac computers. Apple's logo stands as one of the most globally recognized symbols, yet its journey to this status was not immediate. The original Apple logo, crafted by Apple co-founder Ron Wayne, depicted Sir Isaac Newton beneath an apple tree, accompanied by a quote from the English poet William Wordsworth, Newton, a mind forever voyaging through strange seas of thought alone. This initial emblem failed to resonate with Steve Jobs, who found it dated and unsuitable for scaling down to smaller sizes. To re-envision the logo, graphic designer Rob Genoff was enlisted. Jobs sought a logo that would not only embody the significance of modern computer design, but also harmonize with the brand name Apple. The outcome was a two-dimensional Apple image, adorned with a spectrum of rainbow colors. This logo underwent minimal alterations until 2007, when it was changed to the chrome texture design that we now recognize. Those paying close attention to Apple's advertisements might have noticed that the time on Apple's devices often reads 941. This is no coincidence, as with anything Apple-related. The time originally used in Apple advertisements was 942, the time when Steve Jobs unveiled the first iPhone back in 2007. When the first iPad was released in 2010, that time changed to 941. But why 941? It's all very simple, according to the former iOS senior vice president Scott Forstall, who once divulged that new product launches almost always occur around the 40-minute mark of keynote speeches. So just to be safe, Forstall explained, Apple added another extra minute or two to provide a little bit of a cushion in the event of any slight holdups or delays. The Apple Clothing Collection was a line of Apple-branded clothing and accessories that was launched in 1986, one year after Steve Jobs resigned as chairman following a power struggle with John Scully. The collection included items such as oversized sweatshirts, t-shirts, trousers, shorts, shirts, belts, hats, toys, and even a surfboard. The collection was aimed at showing the customer's support for the company in the most public way possible. However, the collection was a flop and did not appeal to the fans of Apple's products. It was also seen as a sign of the company's confusion and lack of direction in the absence of jobs. The collection was discontinued shortly after its launch and never revived. In fact, Jobs himself rejected the idea of creating a clothing line when he visited Sony's manufacturing facilities in Japan and saw their uniforms. The Apple clothing collection is now a rare and nostalgic piece of history for Apple enthusiasts. Today, when you lift the lid of a MacBook, MacBook Air, or MacBook Pro, the glowing Apple logo is an unmistakable symbol of the brand. However, this design choice wasn't always consistent. In a curious twist, there was a period when Apple notebooks featured upside-down Apple logos on their lids. This design decision sparked discussions and even internal inquiries within the company. Employees utilized the anonymous question system known as, Can we talk to query why the Apple logo was inverted when the laptop was open? The Apple Design Group engaged in extensive debates over this matter. Steve Jobs, Apple's CEO, was known for prioritizing the user's experience over external aesthetics. 
Thus, the initial placement of the Apple logo aimed to satisfy the user rather than onlookers using the laptop. However, in due course, Jobs would reverse this decision based on a critical perspective. Opening a laptop from the wrong end is a momentary inconvenience, whereas an upside-down logo remains a persistent issue. This peculiar design choice with the logo became particularly significant in the context of Apple's engagement with Hollywood Studios. Apple often loaned its products to these studios for on-screen appearances, Filmmakers wanting to ensure that the Apple logo appeared correctly on camera sometimes resorted to using stickers to correct the orientation. This demonstrates how even subtle design decisions can have practical implications in the world of technology and entertainment. Steve Jobs took a salary of $1 every year from 1997 to 2011. However, during this time his stocks increased from $17.5 million to $2.2 billion. When Jobs returned to Apple as CEO in 1997 after a 12-year absence, the company was really struggling. Taking a $1 salary was a way of showing how much he cared about the company he co-founded two decades earlier in his parents' garage. Jobs held lots of Apple shares and knew that if he could make the company a success again, he'd be compensated by seeing their value rise dramatically. Jobs famously donned a consistent attire of a black turtleneck, blue jeans, and New Balance sneakers, a wardrobe choice with deeper significance than mere fashion. In the early 2000s, he adopted this iconic outfit to eliminate daily clothing decisions. This helped combat decision fatigue, a phenomenon where excessive choices lead to decreased decision-making quality. Beyond practicality, Jobs' outfit became part of his personal brand. When people saw the black turtleneck and jeans, they immediately recognized him as the Apple CEO. In a 2011 biography of the Apple founder published shortly after Jobs' death, Author Walter Isaacson quoted Jobs as saying, I'm going to destroy Android because it's a stolen product. I'm willing to go thermonuclear war on this. I will spend my last dying breath if I need to, and I will spend every penny of Apple's $40 billion in the bank to right this wrong. With the first Apple iPod, an Easter egg was implanted. The way to get the Easter egg is to go to the About menu and hold down the center button for just a few seconds. Users could then see and play a game called Breakout. The game had previously been developed by Apple co-founders Wozniak and Jobs when they worked at Atari. Samsung has been producing OLED panels for Apple since the iPhone X in 2017, which was the first iPhone to feature an OLED screen. There's a rumor that Steve Jobs didn't like the original calculator design for the tablet in 2010. And to this day, the Apple iPad still doesn't have a calculator built in to use. Here's your bonus for watching to the end. Apple sold 657,000 iPhones each day in 2021. This may be attributed to the opening up of economies after the pandemic.